So my farmer's market guy, uh, my mushroom dealer, <laughs> he hooked me up uh, with a half bushel of beets. They're a really nice size. They're just the right size in my opinion. And they have the tops still partially on, so that's good. This should cut down on the bleeding. I'm very happy about that. Um, I took a little less than half of the bag and I have them in water. And you have to cook them, just simmer. I kind of got this maybe a little too high, but just simmer them for about 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, um, and then keep testing them. I'm coming up close on time here, but as soon as that peel kind of moves, and I can't do it with a camera in my hand, but the peel will loosen up. So after that, you want to strain them, rinse them with some cold water, be careful you're gonna burn your hands, and start slipping those skins off of the uh, beets. And then you dice them up, put them in a jar. So we're gonna kind of walk you through this we're going to show you how I pressure can beets. Hello everybody and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today we are pressure canning beets. Okay, so I'm going to try to figure out how to do this <laughs> without burning myself. But, so these beets just came out of the pot and I pulled them out after the tongs, these, these tongs, okay, after I could slip the skin. See how that just came right off? Let me see if I can do that again. See the tongs? Look at that. That's how super simple you want it to be. So these are still rather warm, but they're not terribly bad. So, okay, so I've now, got the other colander that has all of the beets, and I have this colander, which I'm going to slip the skins into. And all you need, you don't even need a sharp knife, a butter knife would work perfectly. And see how easily that just comes off. Now it does take, like I said, 30, 45 minutes in a nice simmering hot near boiling water. Um, Cause you don't want to like seriously cook these, but you need them, you need the skins to slip right off. Now I remember somebody saying, hey, uh, you know, do you have to take them off? Is it kind of like potatoes with the peels, you know? And I can tell you that I don't eat beets. My husband does. And uh, he was a champ. The first time I ever did these, he was such a champ. And I pickled beets for him. <laughs> I didn't take the skins off. And he worked through them like a gem. <laughs> okay. But yeah, he really prefers them off. It's a texture thing. So anyway, here's your beet. Okay, so for right now, I'm gonna pop that in. That's what happens to your hands. Um, my buddy Angie from Angie's Pantry, I said I'm putting, and I've just realized I didn't, ah, I'm going to be doing something fun with my hands tonight, but I put fingernail polish, clear fingernail polish on my fingernails to keep the dye, I mean these really, I felt the slip under my thumb, um, from totally pinking out my fingernails because I work, um, so and I just realized I didn't do anything to the underside, so there's a good chance they're still going to get pink, but probably not as pink. But Angie said, my buddy Angie over at Angie's Pantry, I'll link her channel in the iCards. Um, she said she puts a light coating of olive oil on her hands, and especially around her cuticles. Um, I didn't do that. <laughs> so we'll see exactly how much fun I have with my nails uh, after this. But if you follow me on Instagram, I'll, I'll give you an updated picture on Instagram. Okay, see that's, I mean, it's actually pretty simple. Now, oh yeah. So gloves might not hurt, you know, gloves might not hurt. I just am not good at wearing gloves when I do this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna keep peeling away. Um, I have another pot going with more beets in it. And as soon as I have these, uh, as soon as I move on to the next step. I'll okay, back. so these have all been debubbled. Let me get those ones back down in. There we go. And now we're going to wipe the rims. You want to make sure that they are clean and clear of debris. And with beets, that's super simple to do because you can see most of it. Right? Now, I did discover a couple of things real quick while I'm doing this. Number one, and I don't know if I just must have had it underwater the last time I did this but I thought it worth pointing out that it's easier if you take the beets out of the hot water strain them 
and then put them into cold water. Don't let the skins dry back out again, okay? And additionally, because I'm in the water, I'm not turning pink, which is a nice, nice benefit. Okay, let's get the lids on. Okay, so we're gonna put the lids on these and we're gonna put them in the pressure canner. I'm using um, my small pressure canner, so it's a single layer. And that is actually working out for me because I can rotate them through. It looks like I'm gonna get three, maybe four batches out of this bag. Um, and that will allow me to rotate through each one. The smaller pressure canner just comes down to pressure sooner. And, and, uh, if I fall behind, then it's not a big deal. So, okay, lids on. We'll put the rings on finger tight. We'll put it in the pressure canner for 30 minutes at 11 pounds of pressure or the necessary pressure for your altitude. You can find how to, uh, how to determine what your uh, altitude and your pressure should be by going to the National Center for Food Preservation. They have that information on there. Okay, we'll be back when they come out. Look at those. Fun part about beets is you can't tell if you had any siphoning as long as there's jars in there. Oh, it looks like I had just a tiny bit. Okay. And like, it looks like it just happened. How weird is that? Let me bring you up and see if you can see it. So do you see how it kind of formed a cloud as I'm pulling the jars out? So it literally just happened. Uh, anyway, let me bring it down. There we go. So I figure I have at least, at least two more canner loads to go. Maybe three, most likely three more canner loads to go. Uh, so those are my canned beets. Hot, hot, hot out of the canner and see the bubbling they are so pretty though i don't like beets myself phil loves them um so <laughs> i can them for him about every other year i can enough to get through two years um this year i don't know if i'll do a whole bushel i might just do a half bushel because we're flat out of time but beautiful beautiful canned beets so these are not pickled these had to be pressure canned if you're pickling beets it's a whole different game and um, that, re that requires vinegar and you don't need a pressure canner, you can just water bath can them. But if you're just canning plain beets, if you just love plain beets, then this is what you do. 30 minutes at 11 pounds per pressure, four pints, and then you sit back and you enjoy some, I hear, very yummy beets. <laughs> okay, remember if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And until the next time, be safe.